This film is about raising awareness for children with disabilities and how teachers and people in the local community can help them achieve at their full potential. I like football and in the future I want to work with animals. I like dancing and football. I like singing and I like to be a singer. I like I'm starting like in the future I like to be a teacher. I like bowling. I like playing football, swimming, boxing and taking pictures. I like football in the future and the at the shop. I like singing in a in a sinker. When I grow up, I want to be a taxi driver or fit alarms. In the future, I like to look after kids in the nursery. We are now going to talk to some people to get their views on young people with disabilities. Do you think teachers generally know enough about different types of disabilities? No, I don't think teachers know enough about disabilities. I mean, that's, that's one of my roles quite often in a lesson, to actually make teachers aware. I work one-to-one -one quite a lot with my students, yeah. where the teacher has up, up to 30 students to sort of look after, so I don't actually think teachers do know enough about disabilities. Mm. Well, I know I haven't really been taught about it in school, mm. so you don't really know what is a disability and what isn't. And I've kind of formed my own opinions just for general stuff as you just treat everyone the same. So, and that's me personally, but I know there's a lot of people that will have um, prejudices, not just against that, but against other things. But they're not, it's not taught to be dealt with. So I think in like lessons in school there should be more stuff done. Mm. Do you get enough help in school? Uh, I think the help that I get in school has improved since I started. Mm. When I started, it was very difficult to get all the support that I needed because I don't have a statement. Mm. So there's less money for me. I've been in the school and it's like my sixth year now. So when teachers get to know me um, and get to know what I need, it's easier. But when I first meet somebody new, it's like starting right over again. Mm. Oh, hello Katie. Hello. Oh, hello. What's, okay. what's this boy's name? I haven't seen him here before. You can ask him himself. Oh, oh. Sophie. Oh, well, nice to meet you here, Sophie. What does Sophie do in an evening time? Does he like going out, do you know? Or? You can ask him, Sophie, yourself. What, what, what do you like doing in an evening time here, Sophie? What do you do? Oh, you watch Teddy. Oh, what, what programmes does he like? Do you know? You can ask him. Oh. What, what programmes do you like, Sophie? I mean, does he watch any sport? Or does he, um... Uh, or does he like music programs? Um, put up a bed to tell you can ask yeah. him. You know, so do you, like, do you like sport or, do you, or does he like music or what does he... Oh hello Katie, hello. Oh hello, I haven't seen you here before. What's your name? Hello, Oh, I'm Ken, nice to meet you Cypher. How are you? Hi. Yeah, what do you like doing of an evening mate? Do you like going out or...? Watching telly. Yeah, oh, you like watching telly? What, what was your favourite programme? EastEnders. EastEnders, I am. I'm kind of street, man. What about, do you watch anything else? Um, sport. No, it's football. You watch football? Oh, got a favourite team? Arsenal. Good choice, mate. Good choice. Okay, got to go. See you later. Okay. Bye. 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 Do you think young people need to be asked what they need to help them in class, but not just presume what they need and just help them the way the person think they need to be helped. And, yeah. Yeah, but you see, it's trying, do you know how to get help when you presume? Mm. And to say you don't know the person. Yeah. And they just come to help you from wherever place. And they're like, do this, do this, and you already know how to do it. Mm. So, like, the, he the person who gives the helper needs to tell the helper what, I'm ca what people are capable of and not. Mm. For them to get good grades and all that, for like tests and that, like what papers they can do and everything. Mm. So, so you think before you actually meet the helper, yeah, yeah. Uh, you've actually spoken to them and told them what you can and can't do and how you think you should have been helped mm. instead of them just helping you the way they've been taught yeah. to help this, that sort of child. Yeah. I think it's difficult because I have a condition where when people look at me, I look the same as everybody else. So they don't realise that I have 
there are things that I can't do and things that I find difficult. What makes a good teacher to me is a teacher that's patient and explains to you and encourages you. What makes a bad teacher would be if they just walk away and tell you to be quiet. Sir? What is it now, Ramel? I don't know this word. I can't. I forgot. I forgot the sentence. I don't oh, know. We've been through this about 100,000 times. Okay? Can please, you work it out, please? Please, sir. Can you, I haven't really got time for this. I've got 29 other students, okay? We've been working on this book for a long please. time. I can see that that's a word that's very important to this book, so you should know it by now, okay? No, please, sir. Get on with it. Please. Thanks, Ramon. Please, sir. I need, you need it. I, don't, I can't pronounce this word. Okay. What, what letters does it begin with? W. Okay, there's a dictionary. You can have a look. But Thanks, if it's in the dictionary, how am I going to read it? No, wait, if I don't... I, Ramon, we have been through this. I put the work up on the board. You came in, you saw it, okay? Now you need to get on with it. We haven't got long. We've got about please. ten minutes left before the end please, of sir. the lesson, and I want to see sir. the work that you've done. Fire. The voices sounded desperate. Sir? What is it now? I still don't know the word. In some lessons, like English, if you don't get a word or you can't spell something, the teachers will come over and they will sit down next to you and talk to you about how to um, get the word and how to remember it. Brilliant. Okay, I really like the way you read that. That was brilliant. Okay, so fire. Their voices sounded desperate to. What's what's this book about? Let's go back. Have a little look. It's about the Great Fire of London. That's right. Okay, brilliant. And um, there's a main character in this book. Who is the main character? Do you remember his name? William. Excellent. It is William, isn't it? So let's have another go at this sentence. See what we can do. Fire. Their voices sounded desperate to William. Brilliant, and there's William, and he's looking really, really yeah. upset. I would like people to ask me what support would I like. That's what I would like. Instead of just... Just, yeah. just um, thinking, oh, he likes this support and hasn't even, even asked me. I think that children have a right to be able to express themselves and communicate with other adults, because adults shouldn't be treated different from children. So have their own way kind of thing? No, like explain or have like communicate with each other and explain how you want, how like communicate, like you share a bit what you think would be okay and what I would think would be okay. You're a sensible, it's just like a sensible young adult. Let us take you on a tour and show you what is good to have in schools, facilities and resources that can help our everyday school life. Hi, and I'm going to take you around the school building. Here, we have the lift which I normally use, but you have to use a swipe card to swipe it. This is the learning centre where all types of kids come at break and lunch time either to play games or to go onto the computer. These are one of the educational games that we usually play. Where does this go? And now we're going to the library. And look at the big sign, welcome to the library. Oh. This is another table which everybody can use. These are positive people which we use to help encourage ourselves. Also, something that I've just noticed, they're all dyslexic people. Like Ryan Condi, James Will, Zoe Wanamaker and Eddie Izzard. These are the PE students. Everybody is also encouraged to participate. 
This is the technology room. As we see, some cooking are going on right now. This is where people with special needs do their own cooking. Delicious foods that have been made before and the keywords. Every subject for each classroom has an accessible area for students. The best thing is that we have some helpful teachers who we go to when we need help. Good afternoon, Kena. Good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon, Rebecca. Good afternoon. Okay. This is Makaton. If all teachers had basic knowledge of this, this could help a lot of communication issues. Tomorrow, we are going shopping. Or well, some of us are going shopping. I'm telling you, Liverpool's going to win the Champions League this season. That's no chance. You would say that, isn't it? We've got a lot to say, and we would like to be treated as equal participants within our school. Yeah. And what, we got Torres up front, we got Gerard. I'm school council, and it's good about it, because we can just ideas about improving our school, saying that to improve the, all, all around our school, like the toilets, the playground. It made me feel happy because half, half the people in our school don't get into the school council because we need to reply to go actually on to the school council. As you can see, there are many issues. We all have individual needs. Don't judge a book by its cover, because there's more inside, and we've got feelings too. In the future, I'd like to be a teacher. In the future, I want to work with animals. And I'd like to be a singer. In the future, I want to work at the shop. I like singing in a... in a... Sinker. When I grow up, I want to be a taxi driver or fit alarms. In the future, I like look after kids in the nursery.